Hello everybody and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be looking up an, at a band I've not heard of before. Um, they sent me a message on Instagram a little bit ago asking if I would like to have a look at one of their tracks. Uh, now the band is called Formula Zero. Um, I'm not sure where the name come from, um, but you know, I they messaged me, you know, you know, they asked me very nicely, you know, could you have a look at one of our new tracks? It's coming out soon. I'll send you the details. So I said, yeah, sure. You know, if you'd like to tell me some more information about the band, you know, that would be great. Um, so they very generously messaged me with some information saying Formula Zero was founded in early 2022. So they're a very young band. Uh, it was originally conceived as a short recording project. Uh, Formula Zero's concept and visions expanded as the duo delved deeper into their ideas. So it's a two-piece two band by the sounds of things. Uh, they quickly realised they shared the same dream and passion for creating a new modern sound of metal uh, that the world had yet to hear. That remains to be seen. Uh, over the past year, the duo has been producing a seven-track EP set to be released later this year. Uh, the debut single, Inner Fiend, is out now, and that is the track I'm going to be looking at today. Uh, Formula Zero has crafted their unique sound by blending influences from both new and old styles of metal. It can be best described as a modern deathcore band with a focus on heavy grooves. So, you know, they've mentioned they have a unique sound and then they've said, you know, they're going for deathcore with heavy grooves. So that could be something we might have heard similar to before. It might be a completely unique sound. I don't know. Um... So like I said, we're going to look at the track Inner Fiend. I actually asked them as well if they'd be generous enough to send me some lyrics, and they did. They sent me the lyrics to the song, so thank you very much for that as well. Um, so yes, so Deathcore with heavy grooves. Let's, let's see what that's like. So we'll jump into it and see what we've got. So this is Inner Fiend by Formula Zero. Let's have a look. So, if you really 
Okay. Well, there you go. Inner Fiend by Formula Zero. Um, it sounded like the song was supposed to sort of fade out at the end there, but it ended very, very abruptly. Um, very interesting. I, I wouldn't say it's a particularly unique sound. Um, I mean, there are elements to it that sounded really, really cool and, you know, not necessarily, I suppose, often heard, but I wouldn't say it's a particularly unique sound, unfortunately. But again, this is only an exa one example of their work. Like I said, they've really, uh, they're have working on a <coughs> excuse me seven-track EP. So, you know, that more unique sounds might come out in other tracks. I don't know. Um, what I forgot to mention at the beginning uh, is the fact that this band is also from Sweden, from what I understand. Uh, now, in the um, description they mentioned, they um, described themselves as a duo, but there was clearly more than two of them there in that video by the looks of things, unless they did some really clever uh, camera trickery. Um, so, yeah an interesting track and it sounds like um a sort of against the establishment sort of thing you know against people with power who abuse their power you know people who've got status and money sort of lording it over everybody and that sort of it kind of sounds like it might be talking about that sort of thing um so the lyrics go so come on there, if you really dare to test my limit, I'll bring an end to your pathetic way of living. I will not take another beat to the ground. I'm done being thrown around. I'm fucking sick of it all. Let's raise a fist to the face of the man who puts me under his lead. I'll prevail. So I'll not take another beat to the ground. So it's not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like make progress and then get knocked down again by you you know everything i do you know i'm gonna push forward and i'm gonna make sure it stays done i'm not gonna sort of conform to what you want me to do you know I'm, I'm not gonna work my way up and then get knocked down by privileged people like you who think they're better than me you know i'm sick of being thrown around you know i'm i'm, I'm done with you know being told what i can and cannot do i'm going to live for myself and i'm going to basically break the establishment as it were uh it, say, it even says uh, let's raise a fist to the face of the man you know the man has been holding me back the man has been holding me down so let's raise a fist to the face of the man so let's knock the man down on his ass and see how much he likes it um I will not obey anymore. I'm in control. Now that I am out, I will not obey anymore. I now I, I'm in control. Now I am out. So, you know, I, I'm not going to... I'm not just going to blindly follow what you tell me to do anymore, you know. I'm in control of my own life, you know. I shouldn't have to have my life dictated by the likes of you just because you think you've got power, just because you've got money and status, you think you can boss me around. You know, no, no, no. That's not. That's not going to wash with me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna live my own life the way I want to live it. You can't. You can't control me. Um, the anger rises up in this burning mind. Forgiveness is nowhere to be found. I ain't gonna look away and pretend to be blind. This is revenge of the worst kind. So come on, then, if you really dare to test my limit, I'll bring an end to your pathetic way of living. So the anger rises up in his burning mind. Forgiveness is nowhere to be found. It's like, you know, I'm I'm sick of all the things that you've done to suppress me, the things you've done to hold me back. You know, I, I'm furious at you. And, you know, I'm not going to forgive you for any of it because you know what you're doing. You know that you're taking advantage of those beneath you, as it were. You know, I'm not going to look away and pretend to be blind. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to pretend that you haven't done these things that you've done. You know, you've taken advantage of people. You've abused your power. You've abused your status. You know, you're sitting there in, in your big ivory tower pretending that you're like this high and mighty amazing person. Whereas really, you're actually a complete arsehole. You know, you're one of these, you know, it's probably like those, well, kind of like the English government. You know, all these rich politicians who aren't paying taxes, who are buying three, four, five holiday homes, and blowing money on drugs and hookers, and they don't get to pay tax. Whereas people like me, you know, barely struggling to survive as it is, and we're paying taxes so that they can have their fancy holiday homes. You know, I'm not going to turn a blind eye to that. You know, it's about time that you answered for all this that you're doing you know I'm, I'm i'm gonna call you up on it and i'm gonna make sure everybody knows just what kind of a dick you are 
um, and you know goes back into that sort of chorus which is the opening lines you know so come on then if you really just attend if you really dare to test my limit i'll bring an end to your pathetic way of living so it's like you know come on push me i dare you and watch what happens because i'm gonna i'm gonna destroy your way of living you know you're not gonna you're not gonna live so high and mighty anymore i'm gonna i'm gonna knock you down uh, this is it feel my wrath time is up enough is enough don't play tough it will only backfire on you you've got to listen to learn so sit down and listen it's about si it's about time someone told you so it's like this is it you know i've had enough feel my wrath you know the full force of my anger and hatred for you is coming your way you know You've got no excuses, you've got nowhere to go, you've got nowhere to hide, enough is enough, I've had it, I'm fed up, you know, you can try and play tough, but it's only going to backfire on you, so, you know, you can try and threaten me all you want, but it ain't going to do anything, you know, I'm coming for you, and I'm going to knock you down, um, and it's, you've got a lesson to learn, so sit down and listen, it's like, you know, you're going to listen to me for once, you know, you've been trying to dictate the way I should be living my life, but you're going to listen to me now, and you're going to, I'm going to tell you every shit thing that you've done, and how privilege has like just overtaken you making you think that you're better than me um you are nothing now all your power is gone so get it in your head down on your knees and pray for forgiveness so you're, you're nothing now you know you, you're, you're pathetic you're the worst kind of person you know all your power is gone you have no power over me and anybody else who sees sense and you know listens to what i say they're going to realize that you know, they don't have to listen to you. And once everybody turns their back on you, you've got no power. You know, so get it into your head, you know, down on your knees and pray for forgiveness. You know, so it's like, you're going to, you're going to discover that, you know, your power, your influence, whatever has dwindled away, you know, so get it into your head. You're not that great. You're not that powerful. You have no hold over us anymore. So, you know, you can get on your knees, grovel and pray for forgiveness. And we might consider it, but it's doubtful because of what you've done. And it goes, power is gone. Pray for forgiveness. You are nothing now. So down on your knees and pray down on your knees and pray. So come on then. If you dare to test my limit, I'll bring an end to your pathetic way of living. So, you know, <clears throat> it's it's a subject that's been covered quite a few times in metal. In fact, I even I even wrote a song here when I was in Thy Demise, which was of a similar sort of thing, you know, talking about the privileged, the rich thinking that they're better than you. You know, it's it's a common theme in, in a lot of um in a lot of metal songs. And, you know, it's it's something you'd sort of associate with things like Deathcore and that sort of thing, I imagine. So, um, yeah, it was a good piece of music. It was very well performed. The the mu the sound of the music was really thick, really heavy, really chunky. It sounded very, very good. Uh, like I said, no, I wouldn't necessarily say it had a unique sound, like they were um, saying. But, th you know, there are elements to it that do stand out. And like I said, this is only one example of their work. Other tracks might bring more of their unique sound forward. Who knows? Uh, but yes, a very, very good, very good piece of music. I very much enjoyed that. And... Um, I'll be interested to see what else they come out with. I'd be interested to um, check out the rest of that EP once it comes out, whenever that is. I haven't been given a date for that. Um, but yes, I, I'm I'm curious to see what else they come out with because that that was a pretty good that was a pretty good first first outing in my experience. I don't know whether that's the first track they've ever released, but you know that is a very good piece of music. I very much enjoyed it. Um, but I don't know what else I can say about that. Um, now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and maybe even subscribe if you're not already, because it would really, really help me out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I spend a lot of time uh, trying to make these videos, put a lot of time and effort in, and they're just getting lost within the YouTube algorithm, you know. Um, I get people that are sending me messages going, oh, I've I've just found this video of yours that I wanted to that I've wanted to see. I wanted to see you react to this track. And you know, this is like four, five, six months from when I actually put the video up and they're like, I've only just found it. You know, so my, my videos are just sort of disappearing because no one's liking or subscribing or even watching my videos, you know. And as it is, you know, I think only about nine and a half to ten percent of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed um so you know if you could like and subscribe it would really really help me out it doesn't cost you anything it takes a fraction of a second you know and you know it'd be very much appreciated but 
that's all I've got for you today. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.